Hello, and Randy here playing Farming Simulator 20. Almost finished harvesting the uh, canola here on the big field. Also have finished harvesting the cotton on our other slightly smaller, but still a big field here yet. So we're going to be working on selling that here this episode for starters. Oh, my goodness. Just took out the combine. Uh oh. Oh, boy. Talk about like a course play type move there. Oops. Okay, let's try to line that up a little better. Still getting used to driving this truck here. This truck's a little faster than the uh, the tractors were, by the way. And, yeah, there's just a narrow little strip left here for the uh, canola. So, yeah, unfortunately, ooh, this trailer's going to be about full, too, isn't it? So we're not going to un completely unload the combine. Well, it should be enough to uh, finish the uh, field, though, I think. So let's see what's your prices for canola is... 1303, oh, 1336 at the West Hill Grain Mill, which I believe is down at the end of this road here, so that works out pretty good. Yep, down there. Okay, nice and close. Well, sort of close. Still a bit of a drive, I guess. Technically almost the opposite side of the map, but still just nice, uh, nice straight shot. And then uh, hopefully this episode, like I said, we're going to be making some more money here very shortly as soon as we sell this load. Uh, we're going to go sell the uh, cotton bales as well. I'm thinking I'm probably going to upgrade to the uh, double trailer there. That yeah, we can pull behind the truck so we can sell both cotton bales at the same time. Hopefully that means they sell for the same price then too. Which uh, the price for, oh my goodness, the uh, price for cotton probably still has not gone up yet. I'm going to have to keep my hand on the uh, speed here. We're going to have to go a little slower. Actually, you know what? let's maybe try driving in cab. Think that'll help? Probably not. It might. This truck, like I said, this truck goes up fairly quickly, so, or fairly quick compared to the tractors. Not quite used to that uh, speed here yet. Nice, gentle moves. Okay, and this is a belly dump, right? So we shouldn't have to be, uh... Yeah, right there. Okay, that'll work. It's actually unload... Ah, it unloads out of both, huh? <laughs> unloads both at the same time. Hmm. What a concept. Can't do that on uh, Farming Simulator 19, unfortunately. Nice. What, uh, how much was that? Uh, 75,000 bucks. Not bad. Okay, back to field. We'll pick up the last uh, little bit there from the combine. We'll get that uh, sold here as well. Hopefully, by the time we get back to the combine, it'll be about done. Oh, I'm going to slow out with the pulp. Oh, boy. Oh, we got it. <laughs> oh, not sure how we're going, but that's, uh, we're back up right. Yeah, boy, we better just slow down here because, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, the fields on the main farm are ready to harvest here as well, so we're going to get onto that here next once we're done unloading the combine here. And we'll have to get the tractor, find a tractor, I guess, maybe. And uh, start replanting this field. It's probably still on the uh, corner. Actually, both fields need to be replanted, don't we? Okay. Note to self. Both fields, uh, both big fields are waiting to be replanted. Okay, we're just going to have to move the combine into position here. Uh, let's see what's there. Oh, you got it. you're on the planter. Well, we might as well. Let's see. Where are you at here? You are on that field there. Huh? Okay. Well, we're just going to take you over to the big field there. We'll get you started right away. Uh, let's see, we just did canola, so back to soybeans, I guess. Oh, that's right, we were going to plant a row crop on that one, weren't we? Okay, never mind. Uh, boy, we need the row crop planter twice then, don't we? Okay. Well. Okay, you know what, maybe we're just going to stick with soybeans then. I was going to do row crops on this field, but... Still need that planter to plant the uh, replant the cotton here as well. So that, uh, yeah, we're, we'll just do this field and soybeans this time around. We'll try to work it out here, maybe so that it doesn't happen at the same time. Okay, all right, the worker. You, no, there we go. There's the combine. And there's a truck back here somewhere. There we go. 
Oh wow, nearly a full combine yet. Okay. Ooh, perfect. I was saying, we'll go find the John Deere here. You're already on the cultivator as well. Ooh, I'm gonna have to move that uh, bale. That bale is uh, fairly close, isn't it? Okay, well, let's see, what's, let's see if we dare start you here. And let's see if we can get that bale out of the way in time. Probably not quite. Okay, should be good enough. Fire the worker. Uh, yep, harvester's down there. That's fine. Back to the combine, I guess. Get you onto the main farm fields there. And as I uh, mentioned in the last episode, I don't know if we'll quite have enough money this episode or not, but I'd like to get into uh, the loading wagon as well, start being able to pick up uh, straw. Then we'll also need a mower. Uh, we'll probably just get the uh, triple mower set up. I think that should be uh, sufficient for now. Wouldn't mind having the uh, self-propelled one, but again, that's a lot more money. So we'll I think we'll just stick with the one behind the tractor at the moment. We do have case may or no case maximum. Actually, you know, that's probably not big enough for the triple mower, is it? I don't know. We'll have to see once. I don't remember what was the horsepower requirement on that. I don't know if I looked at that or not. Uh, we're starting down at the opposite end of the field here, by the way. Just a little something different, I figured. Okay, hire the worker. And this is the corner the hired worker always has problems with anyway, so maybe that'll help. I don't know. Worth a try, I figure. Okay, truck. Uh, should we check here? Prices. Prices probably changed at the West Hill. West Hill Grain Mill for... Canola is... Nope, yep, it has changed. So we need to go to Grain Storage. Grain Storage. Where is... Boy, it's been a while since I've been to Grain Storage. Which one is that one here again? Not that one? Oh, that's the one right up here. Aha, okay. Boy, do not go to that one very often. That one's on nice and close, though. I like that. What up, brakes? Del boy. Nope, I don't think we're quite in the right spot. Oh, we need to be over a little bit more. Hey, okay. Try that again. Yeah, we'll get it this time. There we go. Okay, that's good for that. And I figure we'll dump this uh, trailer off at the main farm here. We'll just leave it over there somewhere, hopefully easily accessible by the combine. And then we're going to head to the shop here, pick up a new cotton bale trail, the one that can hold two. So we can hold both bales at the same time. And we'll sell our current one. Hopefully, whoa. Okay, thought I'd missed that car. I guess not. Hopefully I haven't lost uh, too much uh, value on that uh, current cotton bale trail. One thing, so we haven't really you know, used it a whole lot. It only takes, you know, what, a couple minutes there to haul a bale from the field to the sell point there, so. Okay, we'll disconnect that, go to the shop. Let's see what's our cotton baling technology. Yes, we'll take one of those. Yep. Okay, back back. Let's go to vehicles here. And lizard module four. That's, is that the one? Wow, that has lost a lot of value, hasn't it? Right, so we, what did we pay like, what, 30 some thousand for that, wasn't it? Oh, only 25. Uh, okay, I was thinking it was a lot more than that. Okay, this was 45. Okay. Okay, so yeah, didn't lose a whole lot, but definitely lost some. Boy, this truck's going to be losing a lot of value, isn't it? There we go. 
And then to the field we go. Ooh, he's not caught up with the cotton bale yet. Okay. Got to be real close to it. Oh, did we miss a strip here again? Still didn't have the hired worker over enough. Okay. No, he's got one more strip to go yet before he gets to this bale. Okay. That's not too bad. Now, let's turn this on here. I don't think I've actually ever actually even used this in uh, Farming Simulator uh, 19, so... Come on, back up. Oh, there we go. I'll just put a hand on it, I guess. Oh, got it. <laughs> Didn't think I was going there. <laughs> I thought it was a little over too far, but nope. We got it. Okay, and there should be another bale around here somewhere. Yes, indeed, there is. Whoa, is there three of them? Oh, no, that's, that's a car down there. Okay, that's a car. I'd be fairly close to probably having maybe three of them on the field next time. I don't know if you can unload partial bales or not. I haven't looked into that at all. Come on, back up, truck. There we go. Nice. Got both of them in there. Zoom out far enough. Yep, we can. Sorry, cars. Brakes. Okay, to the cell point. There's only one cell point. Uh, at least as far as I know anyway, unless that's changed. We're just going to play. Whoa, boy. Look out, tree. If you can stay on the... Well, who, oh, forget it. We're not even going to bother staying on the road. <laughs> we'll, we'll try to... Uh, we'll, we'll try to get there in one piece. Okay, we need to go a little slower. Oh, wait. Fence. Why is this truck so hard to drive? Yeah, there we go. Keep it about 39. That, that's, uh, that's a pretty safe speed. I can handle that. Oh, static plants. Uh, fertilize. Is that 100? Oh. I would assume we'd be fairly close to planting that much then, right? Because we need to change views so I can see what we're going here. Uh, for, for, uh, oh, I was going to say 42,000. That's it? Uh, we are too far. Push the one bale. Can we push that back in here, I wonder? Can we get out of here? We can go that way. Okay. Or if we can turn sharp enough. Yeah, that'll work. Pull. Boy, we're not doing good at driving here this time, are we? Yeah, it's, uh, come on now. Go. Oh, I'm probably not. Nah, no, that's too steep. Too steep. I have to dump this trailer off at the top of the hill here so I can come back down. I'm assuming we can push that bale back, back to, uh, to the cell point. Oh, let's, let's go back inside the view here. Okay, let's, uh, whoop, wrong button. Let's leave the trailer there a minute. Price for cotton must have gone up a little bit though, because that was what forty-two thousand for that bale. Price has probably changed for this one now. I bet forty-one thousand. Oh, that's actually not too much. Not too much. Not hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Ever nice. That actually gives us enough money to purchase pretty much any loading wagon we want. I'm thinking it'll probably 
Oh, do we want to go with the small one or the medium one? I'm kind of leaning towards the medium one personally, but, uh, boy. Hey, look how cars coming through. Someone left a trailer on the way. Don't know who did that. I'll, uh, let me get that out of the way for you. Be a good, uh, good person here, you know. It's over that way more. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah, okay, we're off. Let's get out of here. Combine's probably full. Probably a message about that that showed up a few moments ago that I didn't uh, notice. And yes, we're just cutting across our field here. Oh, stop, truck. Come on now. Okay, we'll leave that uh, there. Back to our other trailer. Oh boy, Not quite was I was I was thinking there. There we go. Back on the trailer. Where's the combine at? Ah, he's down on the field. Yeah, it looks like he has quit. Is he actually full or is he just uh, quit? Here, let's go check. That seems right. Uh, no, he just literally quit. Okay, he in fact, he literally hasn't even done a... Uh, okay, wow. That, uh, that hired worker was dreadfully useless, wasn't he? Talk about not getting anything done. My goodness. Okay, hired workers. And you're still rolling good. Let's get you off the field here. We'll get you back up to the start of the field. Yeah, not quite a full cotton bale. They're getting pretty close. Like I said, I wonder, wonder by maybe next time we might end up with three cotton hills on this uh, field. Be pretty good. Or should we take a break and do corn on this field? Well, we could do that maybe. Yeah, I think we'll stick with this as the cotton field, at least for now anyway. I keep saying I'm going to switch it to the other field. I haven't done that yet though. This field's working out pretty good for the cotton. So, and now that we can haul two bales at once, that's kind of nice. Oh, come on now. Humongous harvest. We harvested 100 hectares. Woohoo. No reward for that, though, is there? Monetary compensation would be ideal, but apparently not. Ah, oh, well. Okay, you're rolling. Uh, we're going to grab you, I think. Where are we at here? We're uh, by the farm. Okay. I think we're going to try putting you on the grow crop corn planter there. We'll see once if this will pull it. I don't know if it will or not. Would be nice.
Uh, let's see once if you'll pull this or not. Well, you probably pull it. Whether or not it'll work when he pulls it, that is probably going to be the question. Okay, there the worker. See once what he does. Might go a little slow, but if he keeps the job moving, that's not too bad. Okay, yes, he does indeed appear to be a little slow. I'm pretty sure Beggar Track goes a little faster than that, I think. Although that's not too bad of a speed. We'll, uh, we'll leave him to it if he gets the job done. Great. Eh, Combine's still a rolling this time. Boy, he sure did not do a good job there last time. Okay, Ooh, it's about time to wrap it up here this episode, isn't it? Okay, let's take a quick look here. What was the m horsepower on the mowers here? We needed to have 230 horsepower, which we got that on our larger tractors. This little Maximum, unfortunately, does not have that. So, loading wagons. We still need to plant grass yet, too, by the way. Uh, 200 horsepower for that. So we really need another larger tractor at this point. Huh, I wonder, how much was that maximum worth? Vehicles, uh, let's see, the case maximum, 44,000. Yeah, it's not worth a whole lot, is it? We still need a bit more to be able to get, like, a one of the fent, the larger fent there. Was it fent 1050? 1050, is that which one it was? The uh, cheaper, high horsepower tractor. Yeah, the Fenton 1050 Vero, 329,000. Again, I think that's the tractor we're aiming for. Fairly cheap and uh, good on the horsepower there as well. Not sure we're going to get that first or she to Probably go for the loading wagon and mowers first. We'll see what's uh, we've got the case here. The John Deere can mow them or use them. Just uh, usually those tractors are busy on planters and uh, cultivators and stuff. So, oh well. Uh, anyway, like I said, we're going to wrap it up for this episode here, right? Uh, again, thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to throw them down below. And until next time.